Hello, Gary Westby, k Wine Merchants, here today to talk about a brand new arrival, the 2015 Fascination from Champagne Alexander Le Brun. Um, this is from one of the warmest vintages in the history of Champagne. Um, I just had a little nip of it and tasted it a few times at the property, and I'm beginning to see a pattern. Um, the best of the 15s, they come from old vines, um, period. It seems that um, the older vines, perhaps because more of the plant is underground um, in the cool chalk, uh, has just older vines have a better chance of regulating themselves in, um, in, in these very, very warm vintages. Um, so with that in mind, um, this is still just a beautifully generous, exotic champagne. It comes exclusively from a two rows in a site called La Derriere de Montagu. Montagu is one of the one of the most famous sites um, in all of the Cote de Blanc. And let's see if I can manage myself here. So if you have Epernay here and then the village of Chouy here. It's the first of the Grand Cru's, the northernmost of all the Grand Cru's of the Cote de Blanc, um, with Maynil being the southernmost of all of those, all of those Grand Cru's. And um, the Montaigu um, is, is legendary, and La Derriere de Montaigu is just behind it, and there's just two rows there that he owns of, um, of vines that were planted in the 60s. And I believe that this is one of the most extroverted, fun, um, but also deep and complex Blanc de Blancs that we have in stock currently. Um, first, take a look at that color. I mean, it has um, some of that gold uh, that one would normally expect from a little bit of, a, of an older wine, but when you smell it, I mean, it's nothing but fresh. Um, it has some beautiful, like, panettone-style toast to it. Um, there's also lovely dried fruit to it. Um, it. There's a lot going on aromatically, and it's just a super, super generous wine. In the mouth, one would never, ever guess that this was dosed at less than two and a half grams per liter of sugar. Um, it's, it's labeled as extra brute. Um, I think that it should be labeled as brute even though it's very, very, very low in sugar because it comes across with excellent richness. Um, it's not sweet in any way, but boy, um, it doesn't taste, it's not like one of these things that you have to have with oysters. This is a lovely on its own. Um, I think would make a, a, a lovely companion to a lot of different foods. Um, you know, I'm thinking super, super clean, um, you know, bluefin tuna or something like that is what's coming to mind first for me. Um, but the acidity is really what sets this 15 apart from so many of the other 15s. Um, it was the same when I tasted the, the Damian Hugo um, from Wari. Um, it's really those ancient vines, um, and the same in the Cristal. The old vines um, in 15 have really produced some interesting stuff in this very, very warm and, and heralded vintage. And I hope that you check this out. You can see on the front, he only made 3,000 bottles of it. Um, he does 10 months of elevage, um, mostly in old oak at extremely low temperatures. Um, only Alexander Lebrun and um, Biacart Samon are the only two houses that I know that use this technique. Um, this is a hell of a bottle of wine, um, a great champagne, and a toast to you. I hope you'll get a chance to taste it too. Bye-bye.